Joyfar Gulf Pharmaceuticals Industry is a company that was established 32 years back and engaged in production and distribution of pharmaceutical products. The company launched its first manufacturing facility outside of the United Arab Emirates, where it is based, in joint venture with Medtech Ethiopia, which holds 45% of the stake. The factory that rests on 40,000 square meters of land consumed over 170 million bur. It had the capacity to produce 400 million bottles of syrup, 500 million tablets and 350 million capsules a year. On the official inauguration of the factory, Ethiopian Prime Minister Haile Mariam de Salin said, expansion of pharmaceutical industries has been given due attention in the growth and transformation plan of the country. The expansion of pharmaceutical industries is one of the eight strategic focus areas for the development of medium and large scale industries identified in our growth and transformation plan for the successful implementation of the government that gives particular emphasis on comprehensive support. It is clearly stated in our GDP that the objectives of developing the pharmaceutical industries are to create the capacity to produce essential pharmaceutical products that substitute for imported products and also to supply the export markets. Chairman of Julfar, Faisal bin Sakar al Qasim, said it's a significant step forward in the expansion of Julfar and a huge contribution to the development of Ethiopia. In the, in the future, we are looking to expand for more products. We thank the government, the Ethiopian government and ministries for their support and their uh, guidance. Prime Minister Haile Maram noted the factory will help meet the needs of the emerging Ethiopian society and play an integral role in the global health care development. As one of the fastest growing economies in the world, Ethiopia is an important market with a growing population that has tremendous need for easiest access to quality medicine. The opening of this facility will therefore enable us not only to be able to supply to the local markets and to thereby help meet our objectives of import substitution. This, is, this in, an, in and of itself is very significant in light of the rather prohibitive cost of importing pharmaceutical products. But equally important, the wealth of experience and market infrastructure this company has in the area means that it can easily penetrate the markets throughout the region and beyond. State Minister of Health Dr. Kebeda Worku said Ethiopia is importing more than 75% of essential drugs and almost 100% of medical devices from abroad. The company is believed to contribute not only for import substitution in the sector, but also in accessibility and affordability of its products. Investment in health sector is growing in the last two decades. That has resulted in dramatic increment of health care facilities, both private and public. Investment in the pharmaceutical subsector has also been increasing progressively. Pharmaceutical factories, importers, wholesales and outlets. There is no health without availability of quality health products. The National Growth and Transformation Plan has clearly indicated the importance attached to investment in the subsector. Dr. Mohamed Nouri is CEO of Meditech Ethiopia and deputy CEO of Julfar. He said the factory is built with international standard to gain the World Health Organization's approval and ISO accreditation. By Ethiopia, it is a matter of we imported up to standard machineries for the company so as to meet international qualification shortly and manufacture standard products similar to pharmaceuticals produced elsewhere in the world. Thus, our products will have Ethiopian brand quality products that would be a source of pride for all Ethiopians. The company is expected to generate over 500 jobs upon going fully operational. Yeah.